Fall is undoubtedly the best time to ride, and today I have a beautiful fall ride from Fox Valley Off-Road that took place just a few weeks ago. I'm starting the ride today with my usual GP loop that I've been riding the past few times I've been to Fox Valley Off-Road, but you can see the leaves are changing color. However, it's almost 70 degrees today, so it's a perfect day to go riding. With that though, there are a lot of people here at Fox Valley. They said it's one of the busiest days that they've had, so there are riders all over the place. I wanted to just focus on the GP loop today, but with as many riders as there were, I just really couldn't push myself too much because there's a lot of oncoming traffic and the last thing I wanted was to hit someone and right there I almost did hit someone. There's a younger rider coming up this hill as well so it's something that I really had to keep in mind and as the day went on I ended up just going to the MX track and throwing down a few laps there just because it was way too busy out on the trails. But early on in the ride, I'm still practicing the GP loop. Here, we're going up and down the GP hills. This is something that I want to continue working on because I know I can definitely get a little bit more speed, especially on this downhill, and make up some time in the races. So last year, I took my bike back to Iowa for winter storage around this time of the year, so mid-October, and I really regret doing that just because the trails here are so beautiful during the fall, and honestly, just riding in general in the fall, in my opinion, is so much better and so much more fun. I really don't know what exactly it is, but it seems to be a common theme for a bunch of riders, just riding in fall is the best. As I said, I'm really not pushing myself as much as I would want right now, just again because there's so much traffic and I really don't want to crash into anyone, I don't want to hurt someone else or I don't want to hurt myself, so taking it somewhat easy. But here, it's almost like I'm applying a filter to this video just because all of the orange and just the color of the leaves, it, it, it's so awesome. I know I've talked way too much about how cool this place is during the fall, but I, I really just need to drive the point home that, that it was a lot of fun today. I had a really good ride. Then here we're going on this really rocky uphill. It seemed like as the year went on, more and more rocks developed on this hill which makes it really tricky. The GoPro doesn't really do justice, but the rocks just throw you all over the place, which can be kind of sketchy, but as long as you stay on the gas and you don't bog down too much, it's not really do or die. It's a simple hill. It's just the rocks add a little bit of a challenge to it. The tricky thing about this downhill are the ruts. They're somewhat deep and they're pretty rough, so uh, it, it kind of hinders my ability to carry speed down them. So definitely another hill that I want to continue working on because I want to shave off as much time as possible on my laps for the GPs. And hopefully next year we can slowly start to see my results improve. So as I said, towards the end of the ride here, I ended up just throwing down a few laps on the MX track. And I was having a ton of fun just because there's a lot of riders on the MX track here. So 
there's a very diverse skill gap and there's a lot of riders that I was catching and passing and a lot of riders that I was just keeping pace with so just that alone was very beneficial for me in trying to push myself and get better on this track. I really want to get this track down. I feel like every video of Fox Valley Off-Road, I talk about how I lose time on this track and I'm tired of doing that. I want to just cut the excuses and start improving my riding. And I'm trying to do that. Every time I go to Fox Valley Off-Road, I'm going to be working on this track, which it might get a little bit repetitive, and I apologize for that, but I want to document every race and every ride that I do on this channel, and sometimes that just might get repetitive, but that's part of me developing as a rider. So with that said, I actually have a few Fox Valley Off-Road ride videos recorded from the past few weeks, and the next video that I have prepared for you guys, uh, it's mainly just me riding on the MX track, so we're not going to spend too much time on it today for this video just to reduce that repetitiveness, but yeah, that basically does it for this video. Here I'm just riding towards the um, parking lot because that's all I got. That's it for the day. So I hope you enjoyed this fall ride at Fox Valley Off-Road. As I said, I definitely did. I, I really enjoy having my bike back. Not having my bike for a month really sucked, but... I have it back, it's running great, and I am trying to make the most out of the last few weeks of the season that we have left. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.